Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Twitter Questions and for Digital Book Maestro. And tonight we're going to have a look at Sigil again. I'm going to put some pictures in there and do some other twiddling and fiddling. So let's first of all have a look at this one here. We've got a new bit of text I've added in there. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to convert some of this text into headers. So this is just come in as straightforward text without any headers to it. And all I've got to do is just put my cursor into the actual uh, paragraph. And then I've just got to click on the header that I want for it. And that is nice, quick and easy. That's cool, isn't it? Uh, Say so this one here, we want to have in uppercase or maybe we want to have it in title case. There you go, that's a nice little quick trick to set up your text very quick and easy. So I quite like that, that's very good. Now what we want to do is we want to put it in a picture. So let's put in a picture at this point here into our text. And we're going to click on this one here. We've got an extra couple of pictures in there. Let's click on this one here. Now it would be nice if we was given some sort of option here to be able to say how we want this picture to be set within the book. At the moment it's going to bring it in there and it's just going to go in that there in line and it's not going to go have any text flowing around it when it actually should really have some text flowing around it. So how do we do that? Well, I think really the only way I'm going to do that is actually by going into the HTML and doing some stuff. So. Let's go into the HTML of this here, double click on that there. And here is our image in this section here, look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little code I've got here is DIVL. That comes in from Text Expander. And it's put in a div and a style and a float into the left and the margins around it. So all I need to do now is to grab this bit over here. So, okay, grab that there, going to cut that out of there, and then paste it into there. And we can get rid of this bit now, we don't need that anymore. And if I double click on this again, there you go, we've got it flowing around the text. Now that should work. Now I think what we should do is to make sure that it does work, is to have an actual look at it on our iPad. So let's open up the iPad and see what we've got in there with this uh, picture and whether the text is flowing around it. And somewhere in here we should have a page with a picture in it and the text flowing around it. How about that then? So that's how you can add pictures to your iBook and have the text flowing around it. I quite like this application. There's a couple of things that I find a bit strange with it. So at the moment say I'm working on this one here, section 2, and if I want to go to section 1, I would have thought that if I clicked on that, I would see section 1 within there. But what I actually have to do is to actually change it over here. Open it up in a tab. So let's just close these for the moment and have just the cover open. And I want to look in this one there. Nothing happens if I click on that there. You'd think it just automatically come into this uh, area here. But it does it in a different way. It has to work with the tabs. So I've got to double click on that there so that I can actually see what's in the page. It's also pretty easy to add lists and numbered lists. I would do this in Markdown, but you could do it in this one here if you wanted to. And let's just turn this into a bulleted list or a numbered list. So if I want to convert it back, what I'll have to do is I'll have to go into the HTML and get rid of the HTML. So I would have thought we'd have had a thing in there that would have allowed us to change it back from being in list mode and back into ordinary straightforward text. So I've got rid of my list now by getting rid of the HTML code that's behind it. Okay, so let's double click on this here. And we've got it back as it was more or less. And I can just bring it, put it back together and so. So something else that we might want to do with our ebooks is to have internal links and also external links. So let's see how to add an internal link first of all. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to select where we want to link to. So this is going to be how to add movie to iTunes is something we want to link to. And I'm going to give it an anchor, so insert an ID. And we're going to call the ID how to add. Let's click on OK. Let's go into section one, a page, and we'll just put in some text that we're going to link from. And I'll just select all of that, and we're going to put the link in. So click on that there, and you see here section two, XHTML, how to add. Click on that there, so this is our target, and we'll click on OK. So that's uh, an internal link that we just created there. Okay, so here we are in the contents. Go to this page here, and here we've got it says how to add. I'll click on that there and it goes to where we wanted to go to which was how to add movies to iTunes. So that internal link worked well. So that's something now. 
Let's go back to this other page again, to our section two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some word on here to link out to something else. So let's just uh, select a word. Uh, let's select added to iTunes. That can be our hyperlink. And we're going to click on insert hyperlink. And our target is going to be Digital Book Maestro. Click on OK. And then we're going to click on Save. OK, so here we are. We've got the file opened up in the iBooks application. And you can see there that we've got added to iTunes is there available as a link. So I'm going to tap on that there and that will open up in the external link. So you can see how easy it is there to make internal links and external links using Sigil. Next time we'll have a look at this application, we'll see what we can do with adding some maybe audio or video. So this is Dave Allen for Digital Book Maestro and for Mac 20 questions and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.